So I'm making my spinach artichoke dip. I'm sure you've had it before at one of those restaurants. I've had it at Houston's. It is one of those things that you are afraid of. It is guilty, it is decadent, it is the best thing you've ever tasted. And I like to renovate recipes, so I renovated the spinach artichoke dip so it's guilt-free and it is just as delicious. And it can be made two ways. It can be made cold or hot, so I'll show you how to do both. Frozen artichokes. It's one of those things you should just have in your freezer. I think they're $2 a box. I have no time to peel artichokes and they're going to be pureed anyway. You're never gonna know the difference. And you have to make your life easy. They're still healthy, still high fiber. Same thing with spinach. You should always have some frozen spinach in your freezer. Chefs will kill me for saying this, but truthfully, frozen spinach has a lot of vitamins and it would probably take four bags of spinach to get this much spinach. And you need it for your spinach artichoke dip. So take the frozen box, drain it well. Just squeeze it out or push it. Mix these two items. And look, so many vegetables. The bulk of this dish is vegetables. Then take low-fat vegetable cream cheese. So the vegetable cream cheese is the best part. And get the low-fat, don't get the non-fat. Anything non-fat is glue, and it's got a ton of chemicals, and if you can't read the ingredients, and you can't pronounce them, you probably shouldn't be eating them. This is low-fat mayo, two teaspoons. You need a little bit of fat. You cannot cut out all the fat. And low-fat's fine. If you wanna use soy mayo, that's fine too. So this is part skim ricotta. Don't get the full fat, no need. Okay, that's where the real creaminess comes from. So I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup of Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack has some zip to it. So when you're doing low fat dishes, use cheeses, use ingredients, use vegetables that have some zip. That's about a quarter cup. And you can buy this in the shredded. Usually I like to have the whole food. I like to grate my own cheeses, but in the interest of time and convenience, I buy the shredded. It's all about having time. Quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan. Again, if you wanna buy the grated, it doesn't have that same zip. I like to grate it myself, but do what's ever easy for you. That's, that's about a quarter pump. I had a little too much in there. Truth be told, this could be a great lasagna filling. This is a type of thing that could go right between lasagna noodles and be a great veggie lasagna. Okay, lemon juice. This is a half a tablespoon of lemon juice. It gives it that zip. It brightens it up, it gives it that freshness. And then Tabasco. In a lot of low-fat dishes, you need that zip. You need that bite. Tabasco is a good little trick. You can put mustard, put whatever flavors you like. So salt and pepper. That's probably like a teaspoon. And then I use garlic salt instead of using fresh garlic. Again, chefs are going to hate me, but you know what? I don't have time. This is the easiest thing. If you have guests coming over, just to bust this out and you get the garlic flavor through the salt. Some people like it a little chunkier. When I've had it at Houston's or out, you don't want it to be all pureed. I'm puree happy, but some people like it a little chunkier. So you can do it the way you want. You could add other things in here. You could add tomatoes in here. You could add mushrooms. You can make it whatever you want it to be. It's nice to put a little bit of cheese right on top. I mean, how cute are these? These are very cute. These are at 350, and you want the cheese to get bubbly, and sometimes at the end they put it up to 400 so it can get a little crispy on the top, because I like everything really crispy. So we'll go back and we'll taste them when they're done. Okay, so I think that my spinach artichoke dip should be bubbling over right now with excitement to see me and for me to get it out of its imprisonment in the oven. I might need a moment alone. Just like, this is, I might need to get a spoon. I can't stop, it's so good. You're all gonna wanna have my baby when you taste this.